Yechezkeel, Ezekiel 39. Therefore, son of Adam, prophesy against Gog and say, Thus says Adonai Yahuwah, Behold, I am against you, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshech and Tubal, and I will turn you back and leave but the sixth part of you, and will cause you to come up from the north parts, and will bring you upon the mountains of Yashadael, and I will smite your bow out of your left hand, and will cause your arrows to fall out of your right hand. You shall fall upon the mountains of Yashadael, you and all your bands, and the people that is with you. I will give you unto the ravenous birds of every sort, and to the beasts of the field to be devoured. You shall fall upon the open field, for I have spoken it, says Adonai Yahuwah, and I will send a fire on Magog, and among them that dwell carelessly in the isles, and they shall know that I am Yahuwah. So will I make my holy eth name known in the midst of my people, Yashar El, and I will not let them pollute my holy eth name any more, and the heathen shall know that I am Yahuwah, the Holy One in Yashar El. Behold, it is come, and it is done, says Adonai Yahuwah. This is the day whereof I have spoken. And they that dwell in the cities of Yashadael shall go forth and shall set on fire and burn the weapons, both the shields and the bucklers, the bows and the arrows and the hand staves and the spears, and they shall burn them with fire seven years so that they shall take no wood out of the field, neither cut down any out of the forests, for they shall burn the weapons with fire, and they shall spoil those that hath spoiled them, and rob those that hath robbed them, says Adonai Yahuwah. And it shall come to pass in that day, that I will give unto Gog a place there of graves in Yashadael, the valley of the passengers on the east of the sea. And it shall stop the noses of the, F, the passengers, and there shall they bury F Gog and F all his multitude. And they shall call it the valley of Haman Gog. And seven months shall the house of Yashadael be burying of them that they may cleanse the land. Yea, all the people of the land shall bury them, and it shall be to them a renown the day that I shall be glorified, says Adonai Yahuwah. And they shall sever out, of, out men of continual employment passing through the land to bury Eth with the passengers though that those that remain eth upon the face of the earth to cleanse it after the end of seven months shall they search and the passengers that pass through the land when any sees a man's bone then shall he set up a sign by it till the barriers have buried it in the valley of Haman Gog and also the name of the city shall be Hamanah. Thus shall, shall they cleanse the land. And you, son of Adam, thus says Adonai Yahuwah, speak unto every feathered fowl and to every beast of the field. Assemble yourselves and come. Gather yourselves on every side to my sacrifice that I do sacrifice for you even a great sacrifice upon the mountains of Yashadael, that ye may eat flesh and drink blood. Ye shall eat the flesh of the mighty and drink the blood of the princes of the earth, of rams and of lambs, rather of rams, of lambs and of goats, of bullocks, 
rather of bullocks, all of them fatlings of Bashan. And ye shall eat fat till ye be full, and drink blood till ye be drunken of my sacrifice which I have sacrificed for you. Thus ye shall be filled at my table with horses and chariots, with mighty men, and with all men of war, says Adonai Yahweh. And I will set eth my glory among the heathen, and all the heathen shall see eth my judgment that I have executed, and my hand that I have eth laid upon them. So the house of Yashadael shall know that I am Yahuwah Elohehem from that day and forward. And the heathen shall know that the house of Yashadael went into captivity for their iniquity, because they transgressed against me. Therefore hid I my face from them, and gave them into the hand of their enemies. So fell they all by the sword according to their uncleanness, and according to their transgressions have I done unto them, and hid my face from them. Therefore thus says Adonai Yahweh, Now will I bring again at the captivity of Yaakov, and have mercy upon the whole house of Yashadael, and will be jealous for my holy name. After that they have borne at their shame, and at all their transgressions, whereby they have transgressed against me, when they, ha when they dwelt safely in their land, and none made them afraid. When I have brought them again from the people, and gathered them out of their enemies' lands, and am sanctified in them in the sight of many nations, then shall they know that I am Yahuwah Eloheim, which caused them to be led into captivity among the heathen. But I have gathered them unto their own land, and I rather and have left none of them any more there. Neither will I hide my face any more from them, for I have poured out eth my ruach upon the house of Yashadael, says Adonai Yahuwah.